In this problem, we're trying to determine if some figures have rotational symmetry or point symmetry or both. So rotational symmetry you've seen before, that's when you can rotate a figure some number of degrees less than 360 and then it appears the same after that rotation. In this figure, you see it has these three arms and they each seem to be spaced equally apart on the, uh, you know, if you go around the whole circle, so an equal number of degrees apart. So it's likely that if we rotate this 120 degrees, we'll get the same thing. And my center is a little bit off there, but you can see that um, this has rotational symmetry. So I turned that 120 degrees and I've got uh, symmetry. Now point symmetry says that um, if you rotate a figure 180 degrees around a point, so let's start back at the beginning on this one. And we'll just rotate this 180 degrees. So I'm just going to turn it upside down. And that is definitely not the same figure. So this first one has rotational symmetry with an angle of 120 degrees. That's its smallest uh, angle of rotation. But it does not have point symmetry. Let's try this figure. So if we rotate this, there's 90, a little bit more than 90. And there's 180. And what you can see is that has symmetry at 180. So it's got rotational symmetry. Well, if you've got something with rotational symmetry of 180 degrees, you've got point symmetry because you've just rotated this around a point uh, 180 degrees. So that's what point symmetry is. So this one has rotational symmetry at an angle of 180 degrees, and then it also has point symmetry. So that is a little bit of work with two types of symmetry.